What's going on to all my gold and silver stackers? This is your man, man, Silverback Stacker with another video. And today, I'm going to go over gold, but not just gold. As you can see, I have some gold, but I'm going to go over fractional gold. The two, that's one's on the left and one's on the right. And this is why I'm going to go over this today. Is because, and there's a reason why I have my gold out and I have my ounce of gold out, my three, the three ounces of gold out with my fractional gold is because I want to show to everybody that I have an ounce of gold, okay? But I'm still going to support people that want fractional gold. There's a lot of stuff in the community about, hey, just wait and get your ounce of gold. Ounce of gold right now is $1,900. It could go up to 2000 easy. Let's be honest. It could definitely hit 2000 it's going to probably cost you $2,000 to get an ounce of gold. Those right there on the left and the right, the Britannia gold, little, little gold bars, those are five gram bars. Yes, I've recently, actually, I just recently got those. Those are five gram, little tiny bars, fractional gold. And I bought them. I could have saved up for an ounce. It wouldn't have took me all year to sell for an ounce. And that's not on the point, because my point is, I want to support the people that don't have enough money to wait to get to an ounce. Like, maybe they don't have the discipline, which is tough. If you got to save $100 a month, that's going to take you 18, 19 months, 20 months to save up enough to get an ounce of gold. That's a long time. And by those, by that time period, the price on gold is going to fluctuate so much. It's going to go up and down, up and down. And it, it could potentially go up. It could potentially go down, too. We don't know. That's the risk. That's the risk that you take by waiting. But if you decide to just go ahead and get some fractional gold, let's say if it's a five gram, 10 gram, you know, that's somewhere between 300 something dollars, like 330, $340 for the fractional gold or $660, $670 for a 10 gram of gold. Yes, you're gonna pay, you're gonna pay more in premiums. Yes, that is going to happen. You don't pay more than if you would have just bought the ounce. But it's better to have gold than to not have gold at all. Gold is a great precious metal. Gold and silver. I support both of those. Gold and silver. Don't wait. If all you have, if you can save up over the next few months, $400, and you have enough money to get a five grand bar, I support people getting to go ahead and get the five grand bar. Do that. It's important to get some than to not get any. And then people tell you, wait, wait, wait. I'm not, I'm not one of those people. I'm going to put it up here. Like these are nice bars. I mean, they're nice. You know, and you don't have to get these. I'm not saying get these particular ones. Get whatever you can afford. There's something cheaper and it's gold. Get that. I'm supporting people getting gold, fractional gold. Don't wait. And yes, I, I'm going to say something. I'm not a financial advisor. This is after you have an emergency fund. This is after you have all your stuff on. If you have high interest debt, go ahead and pay those. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just saying this. But when all that's said and done, change your remainder amount of money into gold and silver. Gold and silver is money. Everything else is debt. That's a fact. It's a fact. I mean, most people today, if you talk to people today, they're gonna think that money's still backed by gold. It's crazy. A lot of people, a lot, I'm not gonna say most, but a lot of people today still think money's backed by gold, and it's for a reason. Everybody knows gold has, has value, and people know silver has have value. And that's why a lot of money around the world look like gold or silver. Money still today looks like silver is because we know that's money. We know this. Go ahead. Get yourself some gold. I listen. If all you can get is, if you're starting out and your money is low, and all you can afford is a one gram, little tiny bar of gold, man, it costs you seventy, eighty dollars to get. Go ahead. And here's the last thing I'm gonna say about all this: if you're stacking gold and silver, you're not buying it, so that way next year you can sell it. Hopefully, that's not cool. if you have to sell, go ahead. I'm not judging anybody. But really here, 
it's a long-term play. So the question is, the gold you're buying today, do you believe 10 years from now, 20 years from now, is going to is going to be worth more money? And if you believe that, like I do, and many people around the world do, and many countries around the, around the world do, then go ahead and get some gold, whatever you can afford. All right? That's all I got to say today. Until next time.